a few months ago, uh, my daughter was um, getting ready to go to a game with her friends and I needed something off of her desk in her room. So I look in there and I notice she has a whole vision board of things she wants to accomplish. And she has like a daily to-do list of things that she wants to get done, which is work out, a little self-care, um, organize her room again. And I looked at the vision board and I'm not going to share her goals because that's personal and I didn't get consent to share that and I just don't think it's anybody's business. And I noticed not one of the goals on the board was getting married and having kids. Now, don't get me wrong. She has told me that, you know, sure, she would love to do that one day if it happens, but it was all about her goals, her hopes, her dreams, her career. I cannot imagine being the type of person who would go to my daughter and say, hey, I saw your list and I think all that stuff is great. Um, love that for you. <laughs> Creativity, getting everything glued together on this board. But uh, FYI, the peak of your life, your, as a matter of fact, your life won't even begin until you become a wife and have children. What the fuck? My daughter's life began when she was born. That's when it began. Her life mattered. The moment I realized that I was pregnant with her, all the things that she accomplishes on that board, which I'm going to make sure with everything in me that those things happen for her, those things are a huge deal. And they matter. I'm going to say this. I'm going to touch your hand while I say this. And some of you are going to push back. And I'm not going to argue. I'm just going to block you. But there are other things in life that are magical, fulfilling, and important. Doesn't always have to be children. And I'm going to say something else that's going to ruffle a few feathers. It was magical giving birth to my children. There are several beautiful moments that I have had with them. But you know what else was beautiful? You know what else took my breath away? When I saw the Eiffel Tower for the first time and I thought I was lost. And I turned the corner and it was like right there in my face. Something that I had only seen um, in textbooks right there. Seeing the Chateau Versailles, those golden gates. That was so fun, took my breath away. Going to Ireland by myself, that was amazing. Seeing the Rock of Cashel from a distance and it looking like a Disney castle, that was so much fun. Going to New Orleans for the first time, that was fun. I didn't realize just how amazing that city was until I went and actually saw it. And there was this little cafe that served beignets magical, life-changing. You know what else is magical? The fact that I have a learning disability that has affected my employment in the past, that has affected my ability to finish college. However, somehow I'm able to take all these classes and my conversion to, to Judaism journey, side note, free Palestine, do not make any assumptions about me, okay? Everything that I am learning, all the textbooks that I am reading, um, the next course coming up, which is a lot, and I'm able to sit through those classes and retain information and meet so many new people. It's almost like I'm not asking for validation just let me say this it moments like that remind me that i actually am a little smart i am i'm proud of myself Mom those moments are fulfilling just like having my two beautiful children now don't get me wrong i have more beautiful moments with my children because they're consistently around more so than paris or ireland or you know more often than me being in class but you get what I'm saying, okay? And there are so many women who 
won't be able to have children, who just don't want to have children. There are women who want to get married who will probably never get married. There are women out there who will never get married. There are women who will force it, but will be unsuccessful. And there are women who just don't want it at all. There are all different kinds of paths to fulfillment, all different kinds of roads to fulfillment and joy. And on every road is children and being somebody's wife. And I'm going to say something else, and I'm also going to touch your hand while I say this. There are women who might love being wife and mom. And one day they will find out that their husband doesn't want them anymore. Or their husband will pass away. Or their husband will lose their job. And they'll have to get a job and work outside the home. And their life is going to take a different turn. Guess what I'm trying to say is your life should not be contingent upon whether you're or not you're somebody's wife or somebody's mom because those things might not happen or you might get those things and they might be taken away from you. You are in charge of making yourself happy and fulfilled. I saw a woman on Mother's Day who lost her only child. And she shared a story about how she spends every Mother's Day alone. It's my hope and prayer that you get what you want. If you want children and a husband, I hope I hope you get that. But what I want most for you is that you find fulfillment outside of those things. Because life has this funny way of when you think things are going great, things take a different turn. I hope you get what you want, and I hope it's consistently amazing. But everybody ain't going to get that. I want you to be happy within yourself, first and foremost. That is the foundation of a good life. And I know somebody's going to argue, well, you can do both. And I'll shut the fuck up. The foundation of living a happy and fulfilled life is you, yourself, being happy and fulfilled, regardless of husband and children. I lived the life where I needed those things. and My happiness was contingent upon those things. And things went a different way. And now, had to go the hard way, but I'm happy and I'm fulfilled. Me, myself, and I, and everybody else just adds to the joy and the happiness. That's the way it should be, you know? That's the way it should be.